Are we on? Yep, we're recording. How about this? Here we are again. Good morning, YouTube. Thursday, the 2nd of May. And guess what? We are out again. So, Sunday we did the Bike for Life 2019, which was a fantastic day. Part one's already out. It's only a short one, just really a bit of us arriving there. Um, not much on that one because we all had our cameras on at different times, so there was no conversation recorded. But today is the local election voting day. So the school that me and Goose work at is closed today. So we've got no particular, well, we have. Goose wants to get some textile trousers. So we're meeting up, having a coffee at McDonald's. And then we're gonna head down to the kind of a local bike shop so we can uh, check out some textile trousers. So just a little Thursday morning ride out for us. Got the, I've put the thermal line in today inside the jacket. And it's not super cold, but it's not super warm. But I've got to say, oh, it does make a difference. Right, let's get some juicicles in the bike. Because my tank's pretty low, after bike for life. And then we shall go and meet up with him. And I've got new spark plugs coming today. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm a cylinder down on the bike. Make your mind up, love. Um, the bike feels a bit feels a bit lumpy and I've noticed the tick over is a bit erratic so it's either carburetor a jet I think a jet and a carburetor or something like that or maybe a spark plug so I mean I've had this bike a year um, I haven't changed the spark plugs the guy who had the bike before me didn't seem that keen on maintenance, so I'd imagine the spark plugs haven't been done for a long, long time. So we're going to get those done. Actually, I could even, if any of you guys saw the little video or the post from the madman himself, I could even get Goosey's garage to do his spark plugs for me. And his motto is, we'll fix your bike for free once we've YouTubed how to do it. And we don't charge for any breakages. <laughs> He's a funny man, he really is. And the comments we've been having about all them stupid noises he makes, a lot of the time we don't even realise he's doing it. But he's so funny. I should make a, someone actually did say, I should make a compilation of just all of his weird noises he makes. So that it could go viral. You never know. Mr Goose, you might get us a million subscribers overnight. Right, let's get some juicy calls in. Right. Now I have no idea of the time. Now this depends. If this video comes out before part two of Bike for Life or after. But on the way back from Bike for Life, I don't know if you all saw, I modified my phone bracket. And the phone fell off while I was riding. But lucky enough, it landed down, down there by the clock. It got caught up in the throttle cables, so the phone didn't hit the floor and get smashed. So I managed to save it. So I do need to come up with it. Here, there's the off the bracket, what broke off. So I had the phone just there underneath the GoPro, so I could see the sat nav. But no more, the phone's in my pocket, so I can't see the time. So Goose, if you're already there, get the coffees in. It's not messing about. He always minds about me being late. And I've had a few people ask about the music I use um, on some of our videos. 
and I use the YouTube royalty free music library some good stuff on there and what I'll do you'll notice in the videos I will use a song more than once I don't think every time I make a video I've got to have a different song it's got to be completely original if I like a song I will use it especially if it fits the scene so I'll put my hand up to that there you may hear the song quite a few times I think I've even used the same song a few times in the same video oh or as Rich says he goes over a bump I don't know what he says I can't do it he obviously talks in another language completely I know he does um, a lot of Oh, you Chakademus employers. You do for Chakademus employers. Again, I don't know what all that's about. Sometimes you hear these people's phrases, there's a meaning behind them. But honestly, people, with Goose, there is no logic behind anything that comes out of his mouth. Hey, Pat. You want camera? <laughs> So hello to the world, GT scaffolding. If anybody needs any scaffolding in the Oldbury area, West Midlands, he's your man. Look at him. Sort of bent around on the back, ready to fly off and go straight through the helmet. If in doubt, leave it hanging out. Oh, we've got snow down here coming soon. <laughs> come on, come on. If we get to do snow down here, which I mean we've been planning this since last year, snow down here. We are there the 31st of May. Oh, it's a beautiful part of the country and if we just get some weather like this, what a difference it can make. Obviously Wales is not well known for its glorious weather, which is such a shame for what it's got to offer. We have a little guest joining us on that tour. If anybody's out there, 31st of May to the 2nd of June, around Snowdonia, Betsy Coed, the Mac Loop, anyone around there, and you see four idiots on bikes, then give us a wave. Or if you see us not, come and have a coffee with us. Come and say hello. Get yourself on camera. Get yourself on our YouTube channel. Is he here? I don't think he's here. I think he's late. Right, that's it. I'm going to have him. Right, I'm going to have him. I'm here before the goose. The sexy girl is going to sit right there. I don't even know. Should we have, let's have a look at the time. It's smack on. Look at that. I don't know if you can see. Nine o'clock. No message, so he's inferno me to say, Oh God, come. I've been a naughty boy and the wife's slapped me. Right, cameras, you're going off for a bit. Let's see if we can sync them. Three, two, one, bye. Good morning, everyone. Down to meet Maverick. Let's get a ride out. Let's get the beast Right, let's get over to Dudley. Right. Right here, uh, kid. Tractor spotted! Let's see! Oh! Running on vapors! No foes! Right, let's get this party on. I've got to make it. Come on, Richie. It's Goose Man he needs to put a bit of Canadian in himself. Oh, we we am in jamming, Gervin. Thank you, blood. Oh, sorry, I'm filtering. 
Surrey learner. Oh, Richard. Come on, donkey. He ought, he ought to get off the road. I know, mate. Fuck that here. Do I? Don't I, blood? I do. Andy, love. Oh, Maverick's gonna get mad. I might be late. Oh, shamal, mofo. In the wrong lane, blood. Going right and a blood. Oh, let's see. There, you mother. That'll do. Some people do not know how to go around a freaking island, and my wife's one of them. Follow the freaking lines when they're there. What? Hey Cardo, put some music on to chill me out, bro. Right, my brakes are working absolutely beautiful. Stop, I could stop on an air. Because I'm bigger than a rabbit. <clears throat> Got more room here. Now squealing, it's a copper grease. Sorry, uh, Mr. Low. Craig says you're going to beat the crap out of me for using copper grease. Hey, Cardo. Radio on. What's the command for this? Radio! Radio on! Not music, because I've got freaking crap music on my phone. Get off! Radio on! Michael. Music off! Frick me. Music off! It's taking off! Oh! Ha ha ha! Oh my job! You can take it off. You turn the music off. Crack it down. Bro. Radio on. Oh come on! Radio on. Oh the idiots, Chaka Dimas. Oh you knob, who's gonna go there? All right, love. I take all day. Oh, I've got to be out in an hour. Oh, dun, 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 dun. Right, Pidget. Maverico. I was running, blooming. I was running light. The bloody bouting. and. Said on the phone. I went. What's the time? Yeah, What's the time? What's the bang on, mate? Oh, yeah, says on there, coming up. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go past him, Lee. Um, yeah, that's a ride, eh? I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, we'll pull up outside a mystery house. 
I'm Who's assuming. Who's I'm for the key? Whose house is it? Yeah. For the keyhole. You'll have to just uh, scrub his number off when you do the, <laughs> the street name, are you? Yeah. GDPR. Shimon. Ticket time on. Yeah, GDPR. Motor of GDPR policy. Right then. Let's get these bad boys a roll in. So if we see a station, petrol station, just pull in. Right. If I moved out, so I'd have an house with a garage on it, like I say, hey, posh, like, you know. Well, yeah, I'm the same as me, yeah, yeah. You ain't yeah, yeah. got a garage, have you? On the side. Nah, used to have, but. Uh, and then I'd have, like, a nice big garage. Nice big double garage. And then, like, keep this, and then get this back up into mint, like, yeah. pristine. Because you can have, you know, you can have your engines done. But it'd be nice later on as a when you're older. I oh, could these will I reckon these will be worth money. Yeah. You know, like when you're retirement age, if you have still yeah. got that. But I was looking online as well, um because I'd love a VFR four hundred again. Love them bikes. And you can buy the kit for it, like the all brand new plastics for it, in any colour and any loads of different variations, even like this thing that fits over the tank. So it looks like you've had a new tank on, it's like plastic that oh, goes yeah. up around the tank. They had to come from China, but you can design whatever. And oh, I've seen quid, them, yeah. 300 odd pounds for the full set, of, and it's plastic, it's high fiberglass. It's like proper injected, whatever they do. doing. I'm liking that Triumph, the Tiger. Oh, that's a beast of a bike, yeah. man. Yeah, that's a nice, that's the one you had rid, was it? That was that yeah. low slung? Yeah, the 850, it was perfect yeah, for me. Yeah, that was nice and low, was it? Well, a, G a GS for me, it'd be pointless. It'd be too big for you, I think. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll drop it straight away. But the V-Strams are more right, they're quite low slung. Yeah. Nice seat. Yeah, I like that. Seat. I bet you Steve went to board in school, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I think Steve yeah. went to school with uh, William, didn't he? Charles' son. Oh. <laughs> William. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, he went to Eton. <laughs> yeah, yeah Steve, was, Steve was brought up, we were dragged up. Yeah, that's it. You know what now, I had a great childhood. Like just down the canals on our motorbikes yeah. and just doing building dens, that's how it should be. Now, kids are yeah. too scared to let your kids out. It was while they climbing trees. Mm. Yeah, running making catapults. Yeah. Making catapults. Running around in a shopping trolley. Shooting a few of the kids on the opposite side of the canal and that. Done that a few times. Oh god, yeah, I farted. Oh no, smells, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm, I feel alright today, relaxed. Yeah, I feel quite relaxed. I just like chilled a bit. Some days you can get on, you're a bit tense and I think. Yeah. Say if your missus has had a go at you at summer. And you're a bit tense, are you? Because you want to smash yeah. him in, like. So, so most days is a bad day riding, <laughs> yeah, then. <laughs> most days, yeah. With his thumb up, it's massive. Is it? I swear, the, the bloody bandage on it. So, just for the people of YouTube, explain what happened to your brother. Well, what happened is he decided to cut a piece of uh, MDF uh, with a circular saw. But it, it was an handheld circular saw, but he he puts it in like a table, like a table yeah. saw. Uh, so when he puts it in the table saw, the, the blade is exposed and he was just going to do two cuts and as he pushed the MDF onto onto it, and it was a ripped blade as well, like re really rough, he says it all of a sudden it just just went as as quick as that, like that. And that was it, he just dragged his thumb and it cut oh. half his thumb off, it was hanging on because he'd gone into the bone and it was a rough blade. Oh. Splintered all the um, bone, um, so the hairdresser was there. Luckily, doing my mum's hair, so she he, <laughs> she he did screamed. His hair. <laughs> <laughs> he screamed a little bit, and um, we'll go to this one petrol station, and um, took him up the hospital. But it was hanging off. It was that on the old on by his skin, to be fair. Oh, but they've dear. put it all back together. Hopefully, they'll save it, but it might not. So, I, bet, I bet he's going to have limited use of it though, isn't he? He's already got uh, limited use of that same hand because he broke his, uh, he fell off the back of the lorry, didn't he? 
Oh, is that when he broke his wrist, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah I had much luck, and he's supposed to be driving down to Skeg Skegness and all. I'll tell you what, though, so don't, don't get him work, working in Goose's garage, then. <laughs> <laughs> I better take my arm in off, because I'll uh, probably say, Take your arm in off. Chicka charm on. Oh, oh, where's he going? What's he doing? Oh. Right, I'll phone you later, see if you need anything. Right, see you later. Try, try. I'm back, blood. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, he's all, he's all right. He's throbbing. So uh, what's, he, what's he got to do? He's got to go and see a plastic surgeon? Tomorrow. But he's supposed tomorrow. to be driving tomorrow to Skegness because I'm going to watch because Billy's in a football tournament and oh. for the weekend. So I just said, do you think you'll be able to drive? He says, yeah. I, should. He said, I think so. He says, like, you know, he says, throbbing. He says, I've took no painkillers yet. I'm just out trying to do it without any painkillers. Which hand so, is he? Left or right? He's left hand. I don't know if you've ever seen them people in Bourne and they've got like slanty eyes, not like but their eyes, is, them like English people, but like they have trouble with their eyes. They like them clouds a little bit and they have to like tilt their head back to see. <laughs> what are you I'm, going on about? <laughs> I, I ain't taking the mic. But what I'm trying to say is like, that's classed as some sort of disability, eh? But you should have seen him ride a motocross bike. Yeah, he's probably called not being able to see. <laughs> <laughs> You're cruel. I've never heard of that. <laughs> I'm going to have to Google it. it I'm going to have to show you. I don't know I've, what the condition's called. I've never seen anybody having to walk with a red back. They look, now they're like, they look like they've got s trouble with their eyelids opening. They're, like, they're just like slits. <laughs> 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 don't take the <laughs> Oh, that's a bad thing, mate. <laughs> No, I'm not taking a f I'm just... You, I'm just wondering are you, what, what I'm on about. I'm just, I'm just wondering what you're on about, yeah. Mm, there's some pair of people out there, man. Yeah. Do you live down here? Yeah. Oh, OK. Now, this is my <laughs> posh voice. Uh, because if not, if they hear us talking like um, black country, they might chase us away. This is so, the, posh, the posh member of the group. Oh, is he? Yeah. Bloody hell, let's just pull the plum out of my mouth. Oh, it's nice. You know what we ought to do? We're going to take a... He would his missus take be <laughs> She might be out today. We could just go in like, um... Take a random picture outside his house. <laughs> of us so standing there with our thumbs yeah. off. <laughs> he won't I'd be in after these cars, there. Oh, yeah, he might be working from home. Just come to see how the other half live, Stephen. Should we blast the horns? How you got his phone on? The lights coming on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my brain. Here he is. Yay! <laughs> he just got. He just Whoa. bought me. He just brought me to a posh, a posh end, he says, I'm going to take you out somewhere really posh, I went, bloody hell, it's nice up here, eh? I've taken him to J&S, Wolverhampton, he wants to get some trousers. Yeah. I said, we're on the way, I think we're going past Steve. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Can you come back later? I might be finished on the phone around. Well, you obviously what we do then. Get to work then. What? See you later! Yeah, <laughs> nice on here, eh? Yeah. Nice estate. I like that house there, look at that. That's, That's what we house. want. That's the garage you want. Oh, yeah. One of them. It'd be good, though, if you, like, you know, when you, if I'll get that age, because sometimes I think you oh, are going to live to that long anyway. Um, it'd be nice to have some like that, wouldn't it? Like a garage where you could just chill out. Just, just t tinkering. Just, people could just, yeah, tinkering. People could just pop in with the bikes, come and have a coffee here now, and then have a little they've, got some problems there. With, they've got some problems with the, the bikes, like, you know what I mean, you could, yeah. like, just make sure you've got internet in there, so you can put YouTube on, I was just say, get a YouTube, 
television on the wall, big and uh, well, yeah, we'll have a look and we'll have a good together. It's not all about money, is it? It's nice oh. to have it, but yeah. I like to help people if I can, so. I've always done that. I've had a couple of meals in this place here, in Taibad actually, the wagon, wagon and horses. horses. We should do that, go around and uh, food reviewing, you know, that's yeah. annoying. On, when we're on our tours. So look, we'll review your food, we put it on our channel. Yeah. Instead of the hairy bikers, we'll have to come with the name. What could we have? The Goose Brothers. <laughs> the, Goose, oh, the, the Blues Brothers, the Goose Brothers. Stuck to me that has, even our grandkids start calling me Goose. <laughs> Granddad Goose, they call me. You can have that for life, mate. Yeah. Sandy Acre Farm Shop. Bob, when I was on the phone to my brother, because I've, I've got to get me some shotgun cartridges. Oh, like who, blanks. Who, who, you, who you after now, then? No, but uh, <laughs> it's the, the, for that poacher's trap for my garage. And uh, he says there's a place, it's called Farm. He says, take far from here. Or Farmers and some of It's like a farmer's, but I don't think it's called Farmers, actually. It's at the island when you're on the way to Bridge North. You go off here, but you cut the Dow post them, see? Where we're we going left. Yeah. The car post, uh, shotgun blanks or anything like that in the post. You have oh, to I suppose it's still, it's still classed as firearms, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Really? That'd be great, wouldn't it, to set it up uh, when we was camping? <laughs> Cross Matt's, Matt's tent or something, trip wiring. Sick. Actually, on that note, actually, I might as well um, explain to the the YouTube community that hopefully we will get Bike for Life Part Two out soon. We're just waiting for Machu to get us his memory card, because that obviously will be the first time we've got Matt on oh, camera yeah, yeah. with his voice recorded. So so if far, he's deep. wonder if his voice is like your own deep. Yeah, it might be. Two Darth Vaders. Like to do some altering on. See, that's, the, that's the one thing I like about having my phone on the bike because it tells you the speed limit of the road you're on. What, what's this one then? I don't know, I've got a clue. Because <laughs> my phone's in my pocket. <laughs> Steve used to live up here. Did he? Yeah. He bummed us off, did he? Yeah. See, I've got a go, he's probably still sitting in the house now. <laughs> with his feet up thinking ha, ha, ha. I think there was an embarrassment to him yeah we, I mean we, you imagine you know what? if he's got Kate and William round he ain't going to want us turning up well no he's probably <laughs> he's probably thinking oh my BMW and they've come on their bikes <laughs> bloody scumbags yeah. oh I can't wait to get a camping now I've got everything anyway I've got the old tent. <laughs> yeah. got, a got a two bear tent. I've set it up the other day just to check that it was alright. I've got a oh, blow up. My dad's got another uh, camping stove like that one you've got. Oh yeah. He found it in his garbage brand new with a kettle on it. No way. Yeah, he said he's going to sort it out. I said it's good yeah. as a backup. Yeah, it's alright. Because we've, we've got the electric kettle, haven't we, this year now? Yeah, we've got the other power in. So. See, so yeah, I've got one of them um, leads, what you mind about. It's a blue one, eh? Hey? Like, yeah. like a three pin big plug, eh? Hey? Yeah, three Is that pin. what they use? Yeah. Because it used to go into the generator. Well, that's a, uh... That'd be good, wouldn't it? That bar. <laughs> oh, you had, you had another did, did one handed again, don't you? Then? I know. I'm used to it now, though, aren't I? Now I'm a stunt rider. Bloody hell. Oh, huh? That can easily fetch it off, that'll call it, yeah. do you think? But it's because if, if you're. Left hand off, you go over bumping you at the accelerator. Yeah, oh yeah. Wow, what's up, that? Oh, that looks a bit strange, that house white in the... Just random. That one looks nice. Get over, mate. For sale, look at that. Woo! Oh, that's... Oh, I like that. It's bloody that's lovely, eh? Proper house, that is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's my house. Pen Ken Park. Craig. <laughs> oh, that's nice as well. I love the old houses like that. Some nice houses around here. Yeah, yeah, but these are the sort of places where they've got like barn finds. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Probably been in the 
Jeez, look at that. Bloody hell, that's beautiful. Right, Put stuff down here, haven't you? I bet yeah. this is where, where Steve meets Kate and Wills. Oh, I bet it is. This is where he hangs out, just yeah. for the fun of it. They come out here to do a bit of fox hunting. Yeah, and his jodpers. Yeah, there it is. Uh, this local dogging area. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they pull up here with all the Range Rovers. Oh, you know. yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you a little story down here, and this is true. Along here, Tom was playing football up there when I was back, a kid, when he was a kid, and I, there was nothing out, but it was early morning, I need to get to the loo. And uh, <laughs> oh, I had to, because I, I, I always have a lot of nose bleeds, because it's probably the size of my nose, you know. And um, oh, he was here actually, along here, text me back, this does, in there, in there, I had to go and do a dump. <laughs> and I, I leaned against the tree and done a dump, and I had to tell him, he, he was going mad. He says, that's disgusting. I says, when you got to go, you got to go. I'm sure this takes you through a four down here. I'm sure it does. To uh, cross onto the main road. I've never been down here before. It's a nice road, isn't it? Nice route. Yeah, well, till you get down here, you've got to go through about eight inches of water. <laughs> about seven foot of water. <laughs> <laughs> no, about eight inches of water, I'd say. You'll see now. You'll watch. I've done this you, route a few You can times. see all the water on the road, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, full. check Ford, six foot deep. Ford. Ford Fiesta. Let's do it. Let's go. First time. Let's have a look, see how deep it is. About six inches. I'm scared. I'll tell you what, that's pretty... Badook, <laughs> he's gone over. <laughs> that was quite deep. I'm stuck what? in the middle. He's flooded it. I'll tell is you what, this... right now? Check your yeah. brakes and all. These are the bikes out of wash. Oh, I'll tell you what, I am going to put my two grips on to 50%. Yeah, mine are 100, mate. My hands are bloody lovely. So, play. Actually, yeah, let me whack them up to 100. So, how long is it for our snow down here, one? About uh, four weeks, is it? Three. Is tomorrow. What are we on now? Three, Second. three weeks, eh? Isn't yeah, it? three weeks tomorrow. What was it? Four weeks. Is we go on the 31st. Yeah, it's back four, three weeks. Weeks. four weeks. Four tomorrow. weeks tomorrow. Look. Oh, it's that. <laughs> it's a 1.8 miles, the destination is on your right. Warm the tyres up a bit. You just shut your voice there. You just did it perforated my eardrums. So you, I heard your voice, you go bang, and then I heard nothing. It sounded like someone had shot you with a shotgun. You don't think I might have to do, Goose? I think I might have to turn my heated grips down a bit. Don't like the type of place. Oh, here it is! There it is! I don't know how you get into it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. And okay, good looking we are in that reflection, right? <laughs> Pamela.
Is it loaded? Come on, Pony Curry Chakademos. Chakademos and Pliers. Come on, it's still like freaking loading, blood. <laughs> Is you ready, blood? Aye. The rubber scrubbed in nice now, isn't it? Aye. The rubber scrubbed in. Oh, oh, oh that's nice. Done. Yeah, I'll head that way and then uh, I'll tell you. Well, that's morning and Goose's little ride out for the morning. Right, a little bit of breakfast and a little bit of coffee. Oh, Bushaka man! Bushaka Puna! Oh, he's telling me to turn right here. Uh, I'll carry on, I think. You're going to carry on? Yeah, I'll carry on and see where I end up. Okay, cocky blood! Alright, see you tomorrow! See you tomorrow! Chaka Demos! Well, that was one and Goose's little ride out for the morning. Bit of breakfast and a coffee. Popped over to see Steve. And went to JNS Accessories Wolverhampton. And, funny enough, we bumped into a guy there who'd got the same fire blade as me. And I remember when we did Bike for Life Sunday, the blade come past me and I was saying that's the first one of mine I've seen. You don't see too many of mine in this colour scheme. And when he came in, it was the same guy who did the Bike for Life. So the chances are that. So we've passed him a card. So if you're watching this, mate, nice to meet you. Nice to talk to you. But no, definitely don't get rid of the blade, mate, to keep it. It'll be worth a fortune in years to come. And we'll probably see you around again sometime. Might even be Bike for Life 2020. So it looks like the, uh, the sun's finally left us, so it is time to head home. It's been a nice little morning out, a little bit of a change. So it's time to go home now and do the housework. Before the wife smashes me chops in. Well, thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon on the next one. Ciao for now. Let's go through Warvo, Amatano, Rottersley Park. I've been up here. Get me. Yeah. I'm from Manila. Fijinata. Boom shakalam. Only one boom shakalama. Where the hell am I? I'm not, you know what? This place looks familiar.